Who pays a greater share of their income in taxes in Colorado? The wealthy or the poor? To figure that out, you have to look at all state and local taxes collected. This includes income, sales, and property taxes. Let's look at three Colorado families with different income levels, one earning $30,000, one earning $140,000, and one earning $570,000. The first family pays 8.7% of its income in taxes, the second pays 6.4%, and the last pays 4.6%. Why such a difference? Mainly because of the sales taxes they pay. The family making $30,000 pays 5.3% of its income in sales tax, while a family earning $570,000 pays less than 1% of its income in sales tax. The overall regressive nature of the total tax system in Colorado comes in large part from the sales tax. This is because sales taxes tend to hit low-income families hardest, since those families spend most or all of what they earn on items subject to tax just to get by. Most states partially compensate for the lopsided impact of the sales tax with a progressive or graduated income tax that applies higher tax rates to higher levels of income. 33 states have a progressive or graduated income tax. Colorado, though, abandoned its graduated income tax in 1986 and switched to a single flat rate, making the tax system far more regressive. This is why, when you look at the total percentages of income paid in taxes by each family, the poorer family is paying nearly twice as much. For more information, go to whopays.org. This video was brought to you by the Colorado Fiscal Institute.